second felony offender or offenses. Carnal knowledge of a juvenile, carnal knowledge of a juvenile. Sentencing date, June 22nd, 2015, revoked <clears throat> February 25th, 2016. February 26, 2016, sentenced to four years, DOC suspended, two years probation, revoked four years, DOC. Parole date is January 20th, 2019. <clears throat> Good time is not eligible, and full term is July 19, 2022. Is this information correct, sir? Uh, yes, ma'am. Ms. Renasso. Yes. Thank you. Um, good morning, Mr. Rao. My name is Cheryl Renazza. Uh, Your case is assigned to me, and so I'll start the interview process with you and ask you some questions. So, uh, Mr. Rao, how, what is your age? I'm 27 now. Okay, and you, uh, how long have you been in jail? I've been in jail six years now, ma'am. Six years. Um, and the victim in this case, um, you have two sex offenses, right? Yes, ma'am. That was the same victim. Same victim. Um, and I think in the letter from the district attorney in opposition to an early consideration for early release for you, um, indicates there's another victim in another sex offense. Uh, not another underage victim? No, not that I know of. Um, the two charges I've ever been charged with is the same victim. All right. So, Tim, and, and there's an indication in the record that you may have completed some sex offender treatment. Yes, ma'am. And how many phases of that program did you complete? Uh, they assigned me to do one through three. One to three? Yes, ma'am. One, two, and three. Okay. okay. That was at Bayou Dorchi? Yes, ma'am. So what did you learn from that program? I mean, I, I really learned to really, I guess, feel bad for what I did. And I learned, you know, not What to, do you mean you guess feel bad? You know I'm saying not really guess feel bad. It, it, it really... I don't know, it made me feel like I was doing something wrong. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm very remorseful for what happened, you know? I mean, it wasn't like, I don't know, I just, I feel as they got a lot worse for people out there, you know? And I mean, I feel well, like, you, you know, I know I messed up, you know, and I, I, I understand that now by going through that class because I at first I didn't feel like I messed up but now after the program it it showed me where I went wrong where'd you go wrong uh, you know just hanging around the wrong the the wrong crowd and, and and letting letting underage people be around me right because at the time of the offense the girl was 13 and you were 21? I believe so. And so when you were convicted the first time and were afforded some some relief, I guess, through probation. Yes, ma'am. You went you went right back. Yes, ma'am. And so until you took this program, you didn't realize that was wrong. Yes, ma'am. Even though you knew it was illegal? I, the second time, yes, ma'am, I did, but the first time, I, I, I didn't know. So, what's your level of education, Mr. Rao? Uh, I'm actually going to uh, Ashland University right now. I'm in college, and I have yeah. four semesters under my belt. Uh, my first three semesters, I'm on the dean's list. Good. That's good to know. Do you have any contact with your victim now? Have you had any? No, ma'am. Since since no, you've been to jail? No, ma'am. So uh, I've already mentioned to you that the DA's office is opposed to favorable consideration for you. And there's other opposition that's also been expressed by the victim's family. So uh, why do you believe that we should um, vote favorably for you today? 
Well, ma'am, I um uh, I'm really ready to close this chapter of my life and really start to learn how to be an adult now. Because I mean, I really didn't know what I was doing whenever I was out. So I mean I uh so have you know. given any thought to um how to do that? Yes, ma'am. Uh my Share that with us. My uh, my father passed away uh, right when I got locked up, and then my mom is paralyzed now uh, from uh, some, uh, she says a cyst uh, ruptured around her spine, and my mom doesn't have anybody. The only person that she does have is me, and, you know, I, I really feel as though I can get it. You know, I got it. I understand how to to conduct myself as an adult now. And I have my grandparents and my aunts and them, they own their own businesses. And I feel as though I, I can I can have a job lined up the day I, I if I'm out eligible to go home, even if I don't get it today, when I do step out the door, I will have something and someone to help me and to get everything going. Where did you live uh, at the time of the offense? Were you living alone or were you, where were you living? I was living in a, a, a trailer park in uh, Bayou Blue uh, with me and my brother. Okay. Where's your brother now? Uh, I think he's incarcerated now, ma'am. Mm. Okay. So your plan would be to live with your mother. No, my plan is to 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 be on on my own, but eventually get a big enough house to or or somewhere to live to where my mom can move in. But right now she's actually uh, in the hospital. Right now uh, okay. she has a uh, MRSA. I don't okay. know if you know what that is or not, mm -hmm. but. My uh my grandma uh my emergency contact uh she uh she's actually trying to find me a place to go right now because apparently her house it wouldn't wouldn't work so she's yeah yeah you got some real challenges because of your your charges of you know where you can live and such yeah. but I'm 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 ready to bring them on you know I'm doing school. I, I I learned that I'm not dumb and, you know, and I feel as though I want to try, you know, and I, I'd like to start a little earlier than later. All right. Well, I'm just going to sit back and listen to my colleagues, Mr. Rao. I don't have any other questions. Good morning, Mr. Rao. I hope it's still not good afternoon, Mr. Rao. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Bonnie Jackson. Um, I'm on the panel um, deciding your case, and, and I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the the little girl, because that's what she was at 13, uh, was, was a victim in this case. Uh, why do you feel, tell me why what you did was wrong. Uh, I feel as it, it was wrong because uh, at first when I met her, I I really didn't know. And then let me, let me stop you right there, Mr. Rao. You know, a thirteen-year-old girl. I don't care how mature she acts. Yes, ma'am. There's indication that you're dealing with somebody who's very immature. Yes, ma'am. And I was, I was in. And so where you were going is you were about to blame her for maybe telling you that she was older. No, that wasn't what I asked you. I asked you, why is it that what's wrong about a 21 year old man having sex with a 13 year old girl? What is wrong about that? It's, it's morally, it's morally in sound. I mean, a 21 year old should be worried about working and, 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 and 
living his his, uh, his or her life and uh, furthering their uh, adulthood instead of looking back into their into their childhood by doing that. And I, I believe that it's it's severely wrong. It's uh, you know I, I've learned my lesson. How, how is it wrong for the victim? Um, it's wrong by, cause she can be, she's not mature enough to think on her own and somebody that's more mature and more older can, um, uh, I, I would guess, uh, think for them. I, I really wouldn't know how to put it exactly, but think for them and persuade them into doing something that they probably didn't want to do. What do you think happens when a child, because again, a 13 year old is a child. What do you think happens when a child is sexually active at such a young age? What do you think happens to that child? Uh, I, I believe they go on to probably uh, a teenage pregnancy or some form of that, or maybe even worse, you know, maybe it, it, it alters their mind state to where they, uh, I don't know, to where they're scared to even do that in the future by not wanting to have a uh, boyfriend or a husband or maybe even it sends them down a darker path into maybe prostitution or something like that. Drug abuse. Um... Drug, drug abuse. Anything like that, right? It can it can alter them in a in a devastating way. And yet, after the first time when you were convicted, you went right back to having sex with that child. Yes, ma'am. I, I I understand that it was it was uh uh severely uh wrong and I. I really don't know how to put in words how sorry I am, you know, that I, I, I messed over myself and her, you know, but her you, first, you know. Because you clearly knew the second time that she was just a kid. Yes, ma'am. You knew that. Yes, ma'am. But I also think that I wasn't, I, I wasn't mature at that time. I didn't know what, I was still stuck being around my little brother and my cousin, you know, and, and they, they were still teenagers, you know, so I was still on their mind frame. I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything to, to further my life at that time. I was, I didn't know what it was to be a, a grown man. I, I, the only thing I knew was to be a little boy. And I, I mean, I feel as though that's the path that I was stuck on at that moment. And, and, you know, I just, I, I fought myself fully for for everything that I that I'm going through right now. Have you ever dated someone your own age? Uh, yes, ma'am. I mean, when I was uh, sixteen. I mean, I uh, I was. What in about age. in your twenties? What about in your twenties? Did you ever date anybody your own age? That was that was the only person that I ever talked to was that person i didn't i didn't have a social life and why was that i don't know if it was because i chose it or if life chose it for me i i really i didn't hang out with too many people if i did hang out with people it was with my cousin and my brother and we would go skateboarding or go play football in the field i wasn't worried about trying to get a job and 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 being grown whenever I, the only thing that I've ever did that was grown, I tried to join the army and they kicked me out because I guess I, they, they said I wasn't, uh, I forget exactly what it was for, but I got a discharge from the, uh, a non-categorized discharge, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, AIT, which was the second phase of, uh, basic training. Whenever you start learning your job and, uh, Basically, they, they kicked me out because I couldn't get it together. So apparently, they they knew I couldn't get it together, and I, I just never got it together. I wasn't mature. to I wasn't thinking on that path. 
Have you ever had any kind of mental health or psychological evaluation? Uh, I, I was taking uh, medicine for uh, anxiety while I was incarcerated, but I got off of it because uh, it, I didn't like the way that it made me feel. Well, but, when, when you were out of prison, were you ever diagnosed with any kind of mental health issue? Did you ever receive any kind of evaluation for any kind of mental health condition, even while you were in, in school? No, no, ma'am. All right. Do you, f do you feel, Mr. Uh, Rao, that you have an attraction to, to children sexually? No, that... that that wasn't the case uh, at that time. I I met that particular female on social media, and you know I didn't I didn't find out until I didn't find out until I actually got in trouble, and then when I did get in trouble, I I don't know I was I don't know what I was thinking on the second go round. I really don't I should have known better, but like I said, I don't think I was in, I'm, I, I don't know, I really don't. I just, I know now what, what was wrong about the whole situation, but at that time, I don't really think I was thinking. And in your mind, that child was your girlfriend, is that what you said? Yes, ma'am, that's, that's about, at that time, yes, ma'am. There are also some pictures of her on your phone. Some new pictures of her on your phone. Uh, I I don't believe that was actually my phone. I think that was actually her phone. But uh, yes. Well, it, it says the investigation produced evidence of child pornography, and that the in that the subject had taken several photo photos of the juvenile victim on his cell phone. They, there might have been. And, and where is that cell phone now? Was it confiscated? I believe so, ma'am. Oh. Well, thank you, Mr. Rao. That's all I have. Thank you, Ms. Bonner. I don't know if we're having some technical issues. Nope. I think we're right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, any other questions? Uh, is there someone there that could uh, talk to us about uh, Mr. Rao there at Claiborne? Uh, I, there's nobody. In no here. one's in there with you? No, sir. Uh, is there any, the, we don't have any speakers, I don't believe. Is that right? Yeah, right. Mr. Rao, is there anything you'd like to say before, uh, to close, before we uh, go to voting? Uh, I appreciate whatever y'all do for me. Well, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, Ms. Renata, we, is the panel ready to vote? I am. Um, okay. Mr. Rao, I, I'm, I'm uh, pleased to know that you've done some reflection and you're thinking about, uh, even just today, thinking about what, what you did and why it was wrong. Um, I can't vote for you at parole today because um, it bothers me some uh, that you went right back to the same behavior just shortly after you were released or, or put on probation for the same offense. Um, you do have, as I mentioned, you do have some opposition to your early release. So my vote today is gonna to be to deny your parole, but uh, I do wish you well when you're released on your full term date. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Jackson. All right, likewise, Mr. Rye, I do have some concerns also. Um, and so your, your risk, a level is moderate 
Uh, even though you've completed sex offender treatment, I'm not sure that you fully understand um, the seriousness of your offense. And so my vote today is also um, to deny uh, your early release. And I would encourage you, Mr. Rao, uh, to not allow yourself to be in positions where you have unsupervised contact with juvenile females and maybe uh, not uh, try to meet someone on social media because you never know who that person actually is. Um, but those are some choices that you're gonna to have to make uh, once you're released uh, on your full term date. Uh, so I wish you good luck, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, uh, I agree with my colleagues. My vote today is to deny. Uh, I would encourage you to continue to work on yourself and, and take some, try to understand what it is you've done and try to get in touch with yourself and, and kind of understand what these young women victims go through uh, after uh, someone like you has been with them. Uh, so you have three votes to deny. Uh, good luck to you, sir. Your, your parole has been denied today. All right. Mr. Marabella, can you please close out? Uh, yes. Can you even believe it? The guy gets busted, a 13-year-old girl, and the DA says, eh, I'll give you, you know, you'll, you'll get probation. You'll get probation. Really? He goes back. He does it again, that same girl. <laughs> the same girl. You know, these DAs, they're just pathetic. And all he gets, all he gets even then is, what, a six-year sentence? Why was he not charged again? Or, or like, was he charged again? He got, I, I maybe he got, like, another two years? Like, at what point do you not say, like, dude? I mean, he's a he's a full grown man. She's a little girl, like Miss Jackson said. She's a little girl, and all even all through this, his interview is like, I learned. What do you say? I learned to feel bad. I was hanging around the wrong crowd. It's morally wrong. Miss, why are you doing? Well, it's morally wrong. I should be working. You should be working. That's why it's morally wrong. Not not trying to, to, to be in my childhood. What does it have to do with your childhood? I mean, you really get like the like. Is he? Is he? Does he have a low IQ? Is he manipulating the board? He might be doing that. We've seen that all the time. You know, he's he's smart enough to lie about the phone. Oh, it's uh, it was her phone. Oh yeah, okay. You got in trouble for her taking pictures of herself. Idiot. He is out, according to his file here. But he hasn't uh, hasn't reoffended. But here's the original thing. If you can believe it, he's an offender. He's an arrest. He's arrested on suspicion of now. Now she's 14 because it's a year later. 21 year old man was arrested for allegedly having sexual relationship with a 14 year old girl. The man is also a registered sex offender. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was violation of his probation that the judge gave him. Detectives learned that she was involved in a relationship, carnal knowledge of a juvenile. He's also on current probation for felony carnal knowledge of a juvenile. It's just like you can't make it up. He 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 gets arrested. He has to now he, he you know he has to sign up as a as he has to register 
They gave him probation. He doesn't spend a day in prison. Maybe he spent a few days in jail until he took the plea deal. And he goes back and does it with the same girl. And then the judge doesn't throw the book at him. He doesn't give him 15 years. And still just a moderate risk score because, you know, he's only done it twice now in the past, like, few years. <laughs> Uh, it would have been a low risk score. You know that it was a low risk score when he first did it, right? Then he reoffended. What a surprise! God, it's uh. Well, this is it for you. Sorry about the where I am. I'm traveling, as you can see. But hope all is well. I'll be back to my to my main spot soon. And with that, I'll let you go.